The South African government has taken a very bold and courageous step in deciding to invest 50 million rands for the construction of a telescope and also the money that will be needed to operate the telescopes for the first 10 years after construction. The step is courageous because it is visionary, because it chooses to look far ahead of time and say that 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now, where will this country be? We have an obligation as the National Research Foundation, the SAAO, the staff that's going to build this particular telescope to make this government in the next few years look back and say, wow, what a courageous decision we took and what the correct decision we took. The uh, Southern Hemisphere is a particularly important region for astronomers because uh, whilst you would think you would have access to exactly the same range of objects as you have in the North, in fact uh, the Southern Hemisphere is where the centre of our own galaxy goes directly overhead. The building for SALT um, serves two purposes. It has to be a, a weatherproof enclosure to protect uh, the telescope uh, and at the same time it really uh, controls the environment in which the telescope works. Well, the, the environment at Sutherland is, is quite extreme. The temperatures um, get very low. best of weather but uh, getting the job done is. how do you see things progressing the next day or two if it keeps snowing like this uh, then you don't progress too much but the weather report says tomorrow is going to be a fine day so we have hope
the 10 meter class telescopes are going to be ruling the astronomy world for at least that time scale and properly instrumented a telescope like this can be productive easily for 50 years. salt, instead we have 91 one meter hexagonal mirrors which are relatively easy to handle. They can be mass produced and because they're all of a spherical shape uh, they're a lot easier optically to, to manufacture uh, and to control. The object is actually tracked by moving, instead of the whole telescope, instead moving this tracker which is at the focus of the telescope, moving it in both the X direction uh, and also in the Y direction to follow the image of the uh, object um, on the focal plane of the telescope.
So on the 12th of October this year, the final pieces of the telescope were installed, namely the very last segment which had the edge sensors bonded to it was uh, lifted into place and the day before the main first generation instrument, the Robert Sobey spectrograph, was installed on the telescope uh, up here at the prime focus. It's at a tilt angle of the tracker so it will be tilted at 37 degrees from the uh, horizontal. Okay, so we've got everything. Now it gets smaller and smaller and smaller every time that you, you can see it's very long vectors, but now it's tilting it. Here it is, as you go to the center. Mm.